In the scribe business, writing tools are equally as important as the jobs. Your father's livelihood was in that car. Yes, his, his life, his occupation, everything was in that car. This Flatbush father, rabbi, and Torah scriptwriter knows because over the weekend, his supplies and latest project, a $30,000 Torah, were all stolen. He was very nervous because this is a um, um, very valuable thing. It's um, um, something very holy to us, very um, important to us. Um, it's very expensive, too. Inside their home today, the family, who asked we not reveal their identity, told us about a heist outside their synagogue that's left them helpless. He put the Torah in the car in a safe place in the, in the trunk. Nobody knew about it, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, and he went into, into synagogue. It was Friday night just before Shabbat services. His daughter says the whole family drove to the synagogue to pray. Her father locked the rental car with the Torah in the trunk across the street and hid his keys inside. He couldn't take his uh, keys with him because we can't carry. But on Saturday after the Sabbath, he went to retrieve the keys from the hiding place and... He realized that everybody else had their keys, but he didn't. The car and the Torah were gone, and Walter Rosenblatt, the head rabbi at congregation Aguda Shalom, says while disturbing, it's not the first time thieves have targeted the congregation. He found them, he emptied them, and then I think he just went about his business of trying to find uh, additional sources of, of money, mm -hmm. and he came across that, and some, he saw the key. Picks contributor Wally Zion says this time, it might not have been random. It could be an inside job, but on the other side of the coin, you can't leave anything unturned. Inside job or not, this family hopes the person has heart and listens to their plea. It was fixed, but right before the Shabbat, my father did not get a chance to go back to Queens and give the Torah back, so he um, took it with him. Now the victim says the Torah belongs to a gentleman in Queens, Assemblyman Dove Hikind is now offering a $3,000 reward for that Torah's return. And on average, Tamsin, a Torah like this can cost anywhere between twenty dollars and $60,000. Stephanie Sophilus, PIX 11 News.